Lee, we're here at Sandvik Coleman. Can you tell us a little more about Prime Turn, please? Yeah, well, welcome to the Productivity Centre. Um, we just saw some Prime Turning in action. It's all directional turning, uh, but you get the best, the best productivity from turning in the prime direction, which is not conventional. It, it's machining away from the chuck in most cases, and you get really good productivity, really good tool life, so you get, a, you get more bang for your buck, really. Yeah, what, what's the science behind it? Okay, well, you're basically you're using a, a low approach angle, which normally, if you're turning toward the chuck, gives you accessibility issues. But because you're machining away from the chuck, you can go into a shoulder, you don't get the chip jamming, but of course you've got the low approach angle, which means you can increase the feed rate up to sort of 1.2, 1.3 millimetres of rev in many cases. So you're getting productivity, but with increased tool life as well. And ju just tell us about the uh, demonstration on the screen, the one we've just seen on the Mazak. Yeah, okay, so, so this is a, a 260 Brunel um, EN24 material. So chip breaking was, was a bit tricky to start with, but actually we've got really good chip control. We're running at 0.65 uh, millimetres of rev, uh, two millimetres depth of cut, and 350 metres cutting dry in, in this steel material with the new 44,000 series grades. So yeah, get great tool life, um, great productivity. So, okay, is it fair to say the worse the material, the bigger the advantage? Well, yeah, gen generally what's happening is just spreading that heat over a much bigger part of the insert. So that's what gives you the extra tool life uh, and, the, and the ability to increase the chip, uh, uh, increase the uh, feed rate uh, with the chip thickness. But of course, the, the more heat that's generated, the bigger the advantage. So as you say, the more difficult materials, your, your Inconels, your um, HRSA materials, duplex, super duplex, that sort of thing that generate a lot of heat. It's where you get the biggest benefit because in conventional machining, you really can't push the feed rate too much with them because the heat is going to generate that notch where it's going to destroy your tool life. So talk to me about the journey. An engineer, clearly this is different programming to traditional. So how does that journey begin? How do they do it? Okay, well, you can program um, yourself. You just have to obey the rules. We enter with a radius which is at least the depth of cut, and we're machining in, in the Z, towards the Z plus direction, which is, again, counterintuitive, but it, it works really well. Um, we do have software available from Sandvik Coromant that will help you to get all that done without ever, ever having to sort of input the stuff yourself. So it comes with recommendations, and also uh, it takes care of all your chip thickness values, your entries into cut, you can import step models, DXFs, or you can create the profile yourself by just drawing it in, sketching it onto the screen. So th this video here, clearly we're only cutting in one direction, but equally you can cut in both directions. Well, if you look closely at the video, yeah, we're cutting in, in the prime direction for most of it. But actually, when we come to the finishing, you're also cutting conventionally because you're facing conventionally. So, okay, so software takes care of all the changes in feeds that you need, bearing in mind your chip, your chip thinning. So yes, you can machine uh, conventionally with these inserts, absolutely no problem. And in many cases, you can actually take away a tool because you can machine, do all your rough machining in the prime direction, and you can actually come back and finish and use the other edge of the insert to do your finished cut. Because one of the big advantages with that is that the radius is out of cut most of the time. The only time your radius is in cut is when you're conventional machining, sure. profiling, that sort of thing. So. At Sandvik Coleman, you're globally renowned for, for your boring and internal machining. Can you, you know, can you use Prime here? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, we have, we have a full range of um, inserts and tools that you can use for um, internal machining, especially when you start combining it with the, the damped tools, the silent tools that we're, we're so well known for. This, this works really well on, on the long boring bar applications. And again, that advantage of pulling the, uh, the, the tool backwards it means you've got that chamber for the chips to go into, which means you don't get that chip jamming when you get to the bottom of the bore. So again, really good and, and very good in your HRSA materials, titaniums, ink canals, that sort of thing. So clearly we, we're talking about HRSA materials, but I know it's popular in the automotive industry also, who don't necessarily cut challenging materials. Yeah, again, because you've got the multi-directional turning, you can, you can do many different operations with it. And again, it's, it's the biggest benefit there is the productivity whilst still getting the tool life. Because as you know, with automotive, you need to have consistent tool life. But if you can save a few seconds on a job, that's massive when you're doing sort of 100,000 parts a year. 
So that, that's why it is popular in a lot of the mass production automotive um, in, uh, companies that we, we, we work with. So engineers watching this video want to learn more, how is the best way of doing that? Either contact your local Sambit Coroman uh, person or, or, or visit the website. There's lots of information on there about prime turning, about the software. There's a, there's a 30 day free, free trial. You can sign up to the software and actually try it yourself. You know, it's not a problem anytime. Thank <music> you.